Our lives depend on this election. Our kids' futures depend on this election. And I will tell you, just for me, and I don't want this to happen, but I will tell you for me personally, if Hillary Clinton gets in, I myself, I'm ready for a revolution because we can't have her in. Yeah, you don't, don't say But that. I'm just saying it. No, you know, I'm like Trump. You know, I'm, I might, do I not speak for people here? Do I might not say the truth, guys? Come on. Yeah, there's a revolution coming on November the 8th. I promise you. There's... What, 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 what are we going to do to safeguard our votes? Because well, look, we've seen how the Democratic Party is just crooked, crooked, crooked. Well, look, I'll tell you, number one, it's, you know, elections are administered at the state level. They are. And I'll tell you, in the state of Indiana right now, we've got a pretty vigorous investigation into voter fraud going on right now. And in the state of Indiana, and I encourage you here in Iowa, everybody, is let's be sure, whether it's Secretary of State or whoever, let's make sure that our elected officials are upholding the principle of one person, one vote, and the best antidote to that is to be involved in the election process. There, if, if you are concerned about voter integrity and you haven't signed up to be a poll watcher, to volunteer at a polling place, to be a part of the integrity of that process, then you need to do it. Because I truly do believe it is that the right to vote is a sacred right that was won and was protected by these men and women in uniform. And uh, for our part, we defend it by maintaining the integrity of the system.